New South Wales and Victoria are losing thousands of people to South East Queensland. The Gold Coast Council is working to approve more developments after 50,000 Southerners moved to the city in the five years from 2016. Thousands of sea changes are relocating to South East Queensland in droves. They now make up about 7% of the Gold Coast population, or one in 14 people. So we were literally just talking about what it must be like to live here. We're both on holiday with our families. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's probably one of the best places on earth, like, to be honest. No, no exaggeration either, like beautiful beaches, good people, good atmosphere. Almost 34,000 people have shifted from New South Wales to the Gold Coast in the five years from 2016 to 2021. More than half of that number are from Greater Sydney, while 16,000 are from Victoria. We're welcoming 15,000 new residents every year and uh, it's no surprise to us at all. The city's population is estimated at 732,000. Its warm climate and affordable housing is believed to be driving the number up. Mermaid Beach, for example, which is obviously one of the prime beachside areas of the Gold Coast, the median house price is $2.6 million. You go to Manly, again, beachside suburb, but in Sydney, the median house price is $4.4 million. Another key factor are flexible employment arrangements in place since the COVID-19 pandemic. The city remains a magnet for retirees, but there's a growing shift in the migration demographic. We're seeing significantly more numbers of family and more wealth move to the Gold Coast due to those changes in technology and people just wanting that change in lifestyle, wanting that better lifestyle. A staggering 18.3% of Coolangatta's population have migrated from the southern states. Beachside suburbs are attracting a large share of new residents. Mermaid Beach and Broad Beach are home to 11.4%, while Corumban and Tugan make up 10.4%. The Gold Coast City Council is working to approve more land and development to cope with this current population growth and future-proof the area for the arrival of more sun seekers in the coming years. We're well represented in trying to get them to um, ease up some levers that will allow us to approve more land for development. The number of people set to call Queensland home is predicted to grow to 8.7 million by 2046. Lauren Forbes, Sky News Gold Coast.